Hey, it's Daniel. This is a quick devlog. I just want to talk about what is in the last, or the update I just posted just now. Um, a lot of it has to do with this track editor, because I'm making some new tracks, and I'm got a little tired of how mm, buggy some of this stuff is and how hard to use. So uh, I think the first thing I fixed was that um, it used to be really hard to position the spline points accurately, but now you can. Um, it used to be just really jerky, so I fixed that. The next big thing I did was that you can undo and redo everything, every kind of edit that you make in the here in the editor. So if I delete a bunch of stuff, I can undo, redo. Um, that's a big change. That's going to make a big difference. Um, and then there's also this new feature called anchors. And so some of these spline points, they just have a weird little yellow box around them. What that means is that they're an anchor. And an anchor is a node that will always stay at the same point in the track. I think there might be some bugs, but you select a select a node and press A to toggle whether it's an anchor or not. Um, and I'm doing it in this places because I have these um, lanes on these turns, um, just so you have to uh, steer left and right through these turns. So normally things float around a lot, like if I were to add, edit the spline up here, it would change the length of this section and then this would no longer line up with the turn, but the anchor makes it stay there. Um, so that's really useful. Um, there's a little bit involved with uh, up in the upper left hand corner, there's this little anchor ratio. And because um, anchors mean that the track timeline can be like stretched, um, that shows you the percentage of the stretch. So these are all like 99, 98% uh, off. So you can s tell that it's, I haven't like, uh, stretch the track too much. And then if I select a point, I get a negative three. That's how far away that anchor is from where it normally would be. I That's hard to describe, but that basically tells you like how much the anchor is affecting the positioning. And so obviously if I move this stuff elsewhere, this section is now the ratio up there says 1.6, so I've the player is going to move through this section at <clears throat> 1.6 times the speed, and that's going to be awkward. So that little display just kind of helps you understand when something might have gotten like stretched too much. Uh, what's next? Copy and paste. So you can now copy and paste stuff. So if I like this bunch of jukes, I can copy it and then go somewhere else, like right here, paste. And okay, it, the way it pastes is um, dependent on the angle of the track. Is it? So this paste is a little bit wonky, but um, that allows me to show the next thing that you can rotate. Uh, so if you hit R, it um, <clears throat> changes the manipulator thing into rotate mode. And now when I, um, nope. I have to have everything selected. Did it not select everything? Oh, I think that, um, let me redo my paste. Okay, just to get the selection back. Now, if I, I can like rotate these into the position I wanted. So that's pretty cool. Um, it just rotates the whole selection around the um, selected node. And then it also works in slide mode. If I hit S to toggle that on, now if I rotate this, nope, I have a selection. So, so if I have one node selected, it rotates the entire track after this point. Just like um, slide mode, when you translate, it also moves, translates the entire track. And of course I can undo all that. It's pretty good. Um, what is next? <clears throat> Look at my notes. Um, Undo, redo, copy, paste, anchored points, rotation, 
Oh, and then to go back to translate, you hit G. It's the same as in um, Blender-ish, kind of. And um, I started adding undo and redo to the song editor. There's um, the only thing that you can currently undo redo are editing like if, uh, some of the parameters in this track thing menu. Like if I edit the track center to something weird, I don't want that. I can undo redo that. So that's good. That's the only thing that you can undo redo right now in the song editor, but I'll, I'll work on the rest of that later. Um, oh, right. Let's see. I think that's it. Um, I did want to mention, I have been putting some... There's some new set pieces. I tagged them all in development in the name here because I don't know if I'm going to really change these. If you use them and I delete them, then whatever, um, or I, I change them into something else, I don't know. So you can use those, but just at your own risk. I think that's it. I'm trying to keep this short. So really cool update. A lot of awesome features I'm really excited about, all the stuff I can do with tracks now. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. So thanks for watching, and bye.